What defines a family has certainly changed throughout the years. These days, families include single parents, step parents, even two moms or two dads. And as TLC is about to document, one dad and multiple moms. Sister Wives takes viewers inside the relationship of one man with three wives and the addition of wife number four. 20 years ago, I married Mary. And then 17 years ago, I married Janelle. And then 16 years ago, I married Christine. I just fell in love, and then I fell in love again, and then I fell in love again. Cody Brown and his wives, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin, are with us now. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to say at the onset that this is the kind of um, lifestyle that most people would not embrace and certainly don't understand. So let me start with you, Cody. You do not come from a plural family, as it is called. Your dad was not a polygamist. So what led you down this path? What made you choose polygamy? Oh, shoot. It was faith-based. Uh, it was just um, part of a faith belief, and I followed through with it, and um, this is kind of where it landed. But you started with Mary. She was the first woman that you yeah. married, and your dad was a polygamist, Mary, or is, it, or is a polygamist, yes. so you understood this lifestyle. Yes. And this is technically the only legal marriage that you have, correct, in the that state of correct. Utah? Yes. Uh, the rest of the marriages are, are not considered legal at all? No, they're not. So, Mary, you get into this situation, you marry this man, you, did you assume other wives will come? At the time that we got married, we both knew that it was, it was something that we were going to live. This was a lifestyle that we were adopting. And after you, there was Janelle, and then Christine, and then Robin. You came a little bit later, so I'm going to hold off on you for a moment. Um, but all of you chose to accept it. What, again, to you, why did you want multiple wives? Beyond the religion, tell me specifically. You Beyond had Mary, obviously you were happy. You know, I mean, that, you know, and I know you're asking Cody, but it, it is a, it's faith. It's a faith decision. I, I mean, we we... Anyway, what does the faith um, say then? That, that's well, what I mean, the faith is about family, and it's about working together and overcoming uh, our faults, like and yeah. raising beautiful children, and having a happy family. Uh -huh. And I mean, at least that's the way we interpret it, and many of our friends interpret it the same way. I like to call it accelerated personal development. And just dealing with a lot of challenges. Well, that's one way to put it. <laughs> well, watching, I've been watching the series. I was given a, a three episodes to watch. And just so viewers understand, the three of you, I mean, I'm going to get to you in a second, Robin. Right. But for 16 years, you all have lived in one home together. Um, and it was after you had married all three women that you actually all started having children. So now we're up to 13 kids. And explain to me how the, the house functions on a day-to-day -day basis. Because, Mary, you, you like the way things work. I do. I do. I like the way it works. Um, you know, as far as just our interaction, the kids have all been raised um, all together as a family, and they just interact really well together. They're siblings, and they love each other, and it, I don't know. It just works really well. You know, we didn't all live all together all the time, but when we, before we moved into the house we live in now, we asked the kids what they wanted. And we said, do you want to live three separate houses, or do you want to have one big house? And they were all like, one big house. And they really like it. It really works well for us. We have three separate apartments in the house, but we all still live together in that house. And the children now attend a private school with other, is that, no, that's not correct? No, they didn't pretend private school. Now all we're all in children. public, except, for, except one. for one. Oh, except for one, okay. Mm -hmm. I, number one question you get asked, and I think I know what it's going to be, Christine, by people who don't understand the lifestyle. Number one question? Number, number one, one question. question. Oh, that they ask yeah. us? Um, how do you make it all work? What about jealousy? What about that jealousy? Like well, jealousy is just a natural feeling, I think, that everybody feels. But as long as you realize who you are, I think women, all of us, Every woman needs to feel confident in who they are. And that's really just how you handle um, anything. I mean, I mean, my, like for me, I mean, from my own experience, jealousy is almost always an insecurity. Something I'm insecure about is causing me to yeah. feel bad. You know, so I had to really find my own voice, be, be able to embrace who I was as a person and enjoy my strengths and be able to recognize everybody else's strengths too. When you become confident in who you are... You don't the, need him to tell you you're okay. Yeah, I mean, it's like I, I feel like I... But I you're brought, sharing. I think that my... I thought the number one question would be, how can you share one man, all three women? Oh, see, that's like not even... A, uh, it, it, 
it's oh. not sharing. It's it's like you are getting. He's a really great guy because he knows how to do this. And so in order, it's it's like you you get this part of this really great, awesome person. And it's it's not even like you have only like what no, a quarter. No, it's like it's like so much. I don't feel gypped at all. Like it's a family. But how does it work? I mean, just to get to the nitty gritty here, Cody. Every night, do you stay with this, a different wife? You, you, we, yeah, we've just got a schedule. We rotate through a schedule, and it's it so everybody gets their time. We we try to be fair with the time. We try to be fair with the relationships, and we function very well together. The group of us actually do things together. Well, when you came into the picture, Rob, Robin, mm -hmm. about a year ago, yeah. um, at first, the other ladies, at least based on the series, weren't so sure because they had this nice unit going. And you, in particular, Christine, expressed know, some of your so frustrations, sorry. and you were jealous. <laughs> but there was a jealousy about her. Yeah. Why her? You, everybody else was fine. Why, when she comes along, do you suddenly feel, it's just one more wife? I know. I was, I, honestly, I was shocked, too, that it was so hard for me. And you see that more when you watch Sister Wives. You'll see more of what I went through because we're very real on the show and it was hard and it surprised me too because I've always been very secure with who but I am. But you gotta understand Christine's awesome. Oh, she's so sweet it and she's a great It surprised me that Christine yeah. Well struggled. I think it just re, it just sort of reshuffles everything. Yeah. I mean Cody says fruit, bas fruit basket upset Well, because it just sort of changes it just changes things. So it's like you got to sort of discover yourself again or rediscover yourself. Yeah. yeah Find out thing, where the strengths are again. The thing is, when you have, you know, like Christine was married last, and that was 16 years right. ago. And so it's taken, you know, a lot of the 16 years to be able to grow together and become so comfortable with each other. And then, yeah, when it when something else is thrown into the mix, it is just going to shuffle things what, up. What about your kids? Janelle, one of your daughters in the series says right out, this is not for me. You get the impression when she's ready to make yeah. decisions, she does not want to be in a plural family. You know, and I, I, I encourage that in my children because I had to make a choice. I, I didn't grow up in the faith. I chose the faith as an adult. And I want my children to have that same choice. And I think we all sort of talk yes, about that yes. with our children. I talk to my children at about choice and consequence in a way that my parents never discussed with me. Because I want them to understand that any choice, whether it's who they marry, what religion, what school, who knows, it, they all have to have, you have to be able to be comfortable with your choice and accept the path that that puts you on. But Cody, you're in sales, and early on in the series, you say the one thing you've been trying to do is to, to basically keep your lifestyle secret from the general public. Well, you've blown the cover, obviously, with this. Why did you decide I am going to go forward with this? Because, again, a lot of people are going to look at you and go, whoa, this is not my cup of tea. Right, and I'm not trying to sell it to the world. We just, when you're in a closed society, you just feel kind of... Um, Oppressed. Uh, oppressed, exactly. Well, yeah, I we're think trying it's, to. It's dangerous. We really, we're hoping that we can create more transparency for those in our faith because there are, there is a lot of fear in our culture about the government, and sometimes people, in those instances where there is things going wrong, they're more afraid of the government than they are of of the perpetrator or whatever's going wrong. So we're hoping we can open this up. And there's a okay. lot of bad media about. Uh, polygamy and, and this way of life and we're hoping to kind of dispel some of that and say hey that's not us that's not our family okay we're gonna leave it at that again I have to point out that it is at this point illegal so that that we have to point out Cody thank you so much Mary Janelle thank Christine and Robin thank you for being here thank you. sister wives premieres Sunday night on TLC